underprice coach at Boystone Football Club. Um, on the way to training now. Saturday morning training is an important training session. Uh, my profession, I am a marketing consultant, but football takes up a lot of my life. As you must know, being a coach plays a big part in my life. We have a big game on Monday night versus Arnett Gardens. Big rivalry, Trenchtown Derby. You don't get any bigger than that. Two big teams with a lot of history. But a big show. Red Stripe Monday Night Football. Well, there's a Tony Ball in Sports Complex. That's where we'll be playing Monday night against Arnett Gardens. Nice stadium. I wish one day Boston could look like that. Oh, yeah, it's a tough. Yo, where are they? Where are they? Fire them on them. They're a hard working team, but you have to have someone that lead in them. It's hectic, but what you have to do is balance your time. I um, mean, going to school at university level, one of the things that I learned was time management. So you have to learn to manage your time. As a player, as a coach, I used to play for the club. I now coach a club. It's very important that you realize that it's important and you take it seriously because it's as if a whole community um, is dependent on you. My coaching career um, kicked off in the late 90s when Carl Brown was seconded to the national program. I had no option but to um, take over the coaching of the team. Um, you know, so basically I stopped playing and started to coach the team. I found that I liked it. I, I, you know, I wanted to continue to give back to the sport, to a sport that has been so good to me in my life. A school that was able to give me an education, you know, I got a football scholarship after playing Manning Cup to go and get an education at Florida International University in Miami. One group over here, we are moving too early. One group clear section. Coach Bryce, he's one of the best in the country. Really, always look out for his players, always push us hard, always put us the right thing to do. But for, but for me, this coach is not a very good coach. He gives us too much running, and we're a football team. Is that true? <laughs> I'm a musicalist. I love music. I love all music fans, but I especially love reggae. And Bob Marley is my favorite artist. I watch the different leagues around the world, you know. As you can see by the shirt that I have on, I'm a Gunners fan. Love Arsenal. They play attractive football. So my two favorite teams are Arsenal Football Club and the Brazilian national team. Who's your favorite player on Boys Town team? My favorite player on Boys Town team definitely will be you. <laughs> and you know, one thing is very important. You need a family that supports you. And my family definitely supports me in my football endeavors. I have two kids. They support me a lot. You know, they, they, they give me the drive. They make me continuous. Especially my young daughter, she's a very active individual and you know, she's always talking about boy stone or see daddy on TV there, see daddy team. The measure of a man is not what he does when he's on the ground, it's what he does when he gets up and continues to fight. And you know, I always tell my team, we have this never say die attitude that boy stone has had for decades, you know. Boy stone is an institution that has been around since 1940. And we're basically founded by Father Hugh Sherlock. And basically we have a never say die spirit and that's the way we play football. 